Hey, welcome back to Booze and News. I'm Curtis. And I'm Zach, and we're here with another doubleheader on this Thirsty Thursday. First up, we've got the Old Bakery out of Alton, Illinois. It's the Winter Goza, which is an ale brewed with cranberry and oranges. Sounds very light and refreshing. And also, from Shiner, Texas, we have the Shiner Candied Pecan, a porter brewed with, you guessed it, roasted pecans. Hmm. So while we try these tasty beverages, what are we talking about today? My sweet homina. Well, we got a couple of small things that came out. Uh, one of them that you want to talk about, but the first thing is Netflix released their cast for the Sandman series. Oh, okay. So they're working with Neil Gaiman to make a show out of that, so that just means that it's coming. And I just listened to it. the audiobook, and it was incredible. Ooh. Read the first graphic novel, listened to the audiobook, absolutely loved it, very excited. And another one is Harry Potter's got a show coming on HBO Max. It's in the very early stages, so who knows what it's about, but it's in the making. I think I called that when we were talking you did. about You did HBO mention Max everything that goes around. to HBO Max getting a show. Yep. I'm in the early stages myself here. I need to calm <laughs> myself down. That is excellent news. I will obviously be watching that. And the one that you wanted to talk about is the Godzilla vs. Yes. Kong trailer. Yes. So this aired during the AFC Championship game between our Kansas City Chiefs as they were busy trouncing the Buffalo Bills. And I am so, so stoked for this trailer. I didn't uh, peg you as a guy that liked this stuff. So, so why, why? Tell me why I, you like well, it. So first of all, I grew up watching the original Godzilla's on VHS, the old guy in the suit. Like, I have Godzilla, Godzilla vs. King Kong, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, all of those. So everybody talks about the MCU, right? Well, I'm here for the BA MCU, which is the big-ass monster cinematic universe. I am here for it. I love King Kong remake. I love Godzilla remake. I love Skull Island. I love King of All Monsters. I am super pumped for this culmination, the end game, if you will, potentially, of the BAMCU. I'm trademarking that, by the way. If you see that, uh, let me know. We'll well, lawyers, first right? off, I think it's called the Monster Universe. I like mine better. They're already doing that. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, and I, I have not seen any of these. They're so. amazing. So imagine the uh, the Godzilla one from the 90s, which you probably love because I think there's a Creed song on it with uh, Matthew Broderick. Uh, it's Fuel, but yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yep. Fuel. Have uh, that on VHS, talking about VHS. Yeah. it's They're really, really good. The only thing, uh, well, I know there's, what, four of them? Three? Maybe this would be the fourth one, this be, I think. This would be, there's two of each. Each one's had two. Okay. So this would be uh, the fifth one. The only bad thing is this does look like a movie that should be seen in the theaters. Oh, IMAX. Sound. IMAX for sure. Yeah, so hopefully we can get around to doing that, go seeing it actually into theaters, other than being on your TV. Yep, there, there so. are some movies that just need to be watched on the big screen, I think. These are absolutely... I saw I actually saw Godzilla King of the Monsters in IMAX, and my jaw was the whole time. <laughs> Please don't Photoshop that. <laughs> All right. So moving on to the beer. What do you think? Which one do you start with? So I think we should start with the Goza first to go from light to dark as our palates progress. Um, I really like this beer. Um, for me, it's not quite as sour or tart as a Goza I was expecting, but sometimes yep. Gozas can kind of run the gambit of surprisingly tart and sour to just a little bit. And I think that orange gives you some of that tartness inherently yep. with this Goza style. I do smell a lot of cranberry on the nose. Um, I don't get as much in the taste profile. Yep. Yep. Um, maybe a little bit on the aftertaste, but to me, primarily I get that orange so it does have that nice kind of winter yep. winter flavor to me it almost tastes like a really smooth uh, wheat beer base with just a touch of orange at the end yep so it's also four percent so very light super light easy to drink uh, reminds us of the beer mosa minus the carbonation mm -hmm. uh, the emergency carbonation also from said. old bakery yep very yep. similar to that style and I actually like because it's less carbonated I think the beer mosa yep. was hyper carbonated and I do agree uh, smell cranberry you don't taste a lot but you get a lot of orange and we're probably gonna work on a bomb here after this with some orange the cooler with it. thousand percent. So, uh, and the pecan? About, yeah, the pecan. I was going to let you yep. talk about that one first. I know how much you love porters. All right. So, so tell me your thoughts on this one. Uh, I think this one's all right. It clocks in, I think, 6%. You can't yes. taste the 6% for it being a, you know, a porter. Yep. Uh, smell pecan. You don't taste a lot of pecan. I think this is a very easy drink of beer if you love your Bud Lights, Miller Lights, you know, your Bundridge type <laughs> stuff. Michael uh, Bolter, I think. He's exclusive. Michael Bolter, yeah, sorry. Exclusive with them. Uh, but you get that. A little bit of flavor there on the tail end. Um, I think 
It's an easy, drinkable beer. I, I agree. The six percent I think helps add a little more body to it. I do. It, it smells amazing. It smells like uh, candied roasted pecans. Uh, flavor for me, I think, just because it is a little bit of a lighter um, porter. Uh, you definitely still get that roasted pecan, but for me, it's mostly at the end while I'm drinking it. I get most almost like a little chocolate initially, and then some of that roasted pecan sweetness towards the end. But yes, yeah. it's, it's still there. It's obviously not going to be a big, robust. You know, thick stout, but it's still got some flavor. Yep. So, I like both of them. I think they're easy, super, super easy to drink, being 4 and 6%. So, yep. come on down and try these winter wonders while you can. And uh, until next time, guys, stay thirsty. The Goza first. Um, what are your thoughts? So, are we, oh, news? you haven't had a chance to drink it yet, huh? News. So maybe I'll talk. Yeah, the, the news. Oh, the news. Not the beer. The news. The news. The news.